الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله from some of the excellent manners that Islam encourages us to observe and especially during the holy month of Ramadan but of course outside the holy month of Ramadan as well because the opposite of having this trait is a sign of weak iman and is a sign and is sinfulness and this has to do with being kind to one's relatives and joining the ties عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من أحب أن يبسط له في رزقه وأن ينسأ له في أثره فيصل رحمه أخرجه بخاري Abu Huraira radiya Allah ta'ala anhu narrated that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said he who wishes to have his provision expanded and his term of life prolonged should treat his relatives well and this is collected in Bukhari from this Ahabat Allah we learn that maintaining the, the ties of kinship has a relationship with our risk, with our provisions, with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for us. Because all the risk comes from our rizaq, our risk, our wealth, our provisions, our jobs, our income comes from Allah Azza wa Jal. Our food, our, all of our sources of khair, everything comes from Allah Azza wa Jal. And if we want to have that pro those provisions increased, which I don't think there's a single one of us who doesn't wish to have more risk, more money to do khair with, more money to spend on their families, more money to do, uh, to enjoy some of the benefits of this dunya that are permissible for them. The Prophet wasallam said, he who wishes to have his provision expanded and his term of life prolonged. So likewise, all of us wish to have a healthy, meaningful life and to live a long and prosperous life. A life that's beneficial and with good in this life as well as the hereafter. So as a wasila or a means to that is treating your parents and your relatives with kindness. And with that ahabat that's inclusive of all of our relatives, all of us. So it's a reminder and an encouragement from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from his prophetic guidance, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to maintain those ties of kinship. So when you have relatives even that you've fallen out with, that you have disagreement with, you strive to be the better one and maintain those ties, even if it's sometimes from a bit of a distance. You be the one to extend that phone call to check on their well-being. You be the one, if you have the means, to be able to spend a little bit to, to help them and assist them during a difficulty. You be the one to do that. You be the one to encourage them with a beautiful word uh, that will help them to have a fulfilling day, to have a wonderful day, to be able to uh, enjoy their day. You be the one to do that. And this is maintaining those ties. And this is showing kindness to your relatives. And this is the means for having our rizq and our lives extended. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our rizq. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, bless us all with ilm al-nafi, rizqan tayyib wa ilm al-mutakabbil. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa